Hi Pisces and welcome to your February 2022 general tarot forecast. This is Sky coming on to talk to you about your month ahead. I hope you're feeling really well and I hope that you are uh, excited for your time of the year coming up at the end of the month. I'm feeling it's going to be one of the most memorable Pisces season, uh, especially for those of us, us with Pisces placements. Uh, this is going to be a really big deal, uh, what we have coming up this Pisces season with Jupiter conjoin, uh, moving to conjoin with Neptune, being in your ruling sign, both of those planets, uh, and huge Pisces stelliums coming up as well. Most of that will be happening in March, but we have a lot to talk about this month, being that we're uh, gearing up to prepare for that. And uh, what does it mean? So um, a lot of us have a very different spiritual significance coming in this month. You know, intuitively for your sign, I feel that you're really transcending a lot of the things that have been very status quo in your life. The a negative side to these major Pisces stelliums is that it's a very eroding force, okay? So what can happen is that a lot of the things which we have come to rely on can start to erode. So understanding the effects of erosion are important now and being able to see what parts of your life are eroding and what it means about the structures that had been there for a long time that they're eroding. So looking towards the things which are not eroding in your life, the things that you're really enjoying doing that are working and not really showing huge signs of wear and tear are uh, very strong things. So the strength of certain structures in our lives are really tested during this time. And it can be a little bit difficult to really commit our minds, focuses, and energy to things which have been on the table for a really long time. It feels like an ending phase and it feels like new dreams and new uh, feelings of ease are the best places of focus right now. But it also feels that it can be difficult to really just pinpoint or or connect your energy to very small micro things right now because there's a want, I feel, in your energy to get really macro and to get really general and zoomed out. And you could even see that people are kind of quick to criticize that, but there's nothing they can do with it at the same time. So you could see criticisms for uh, a tendency to be general. You could also see that it's difficult to really maintain a certain dialogue or a certain, um, again, microcosmic way of thinking. And uh, there's going to be a little bit of a disconnect, I feel, just with the expectations of other people and what they want from you, and then also what you can actually give to them. So I feel that there's a potentiality of being like underpaid and resolving that. Uh, so that could be at a job, or it could also be in relationships with other people, like people might be too dependent on you. And at the same time, I feel the ball is in your court with a lot of things. So um, for Pisces, it's like you have the power. Okay, Jupiter's in your sign, Neptune's in your sign, the sun is about to be in your sign. What you've needed to do to get stuff right, to get your life right, can be done in February, especially in March, okay? But um, in fact, I feel that it's important that it is March or Pisces season at least, so ending February, late March. I'm sorry, ending February, early March, uh, Pisces season. When we have Sun, Jupiter, Neptune, and Pisces, you can do what you need to do, like request, request a raise perhaps. Uh, maybe you'd need to be paid more for what you do. Um, also, redefining relationship roles. Like if your partner or your significant other is too expectant of you, and like any time that you kind of express that you need more time for yourself or you need more, you need them to do more, or you feel as if you're being overused in any situation, now is the time to assert what your your real needs are. So this can look like negotiation, I feel, and it's an interesting time for negotiation. And I can't really say what the result of that would be, but I feel that terms can be reset with very distinguished success on your part. Because people won't really be able to, I feel, uh, what do I want to say? It's like, the ball is in your court, so the alternatives of people in your own experience are just not that great. So you really have total power, but can you actually enforce it? Okay, like 
because Pisces can be a more passive and sometimes push over energy. So if that person like looks at you the wrong way or if they give you some type of ultimatum, that's likely a bluff. Okay, and I wanna put that out there. Like people in your life could bluff during this time and they might think that you'll just fall for it because you're like that pushover Pisces. You know, I'm not saying that that's what they think or that's really how it is, but um, it's important to be able to call people's bluffs, I feel, as a Pisces person right now, and to know what is fair, okay? To like know what is fair in your own experience and not need to, um, to just assuage to anybody else's demands because Pisces does that easily. It can very, it, it wants to keep the peace, right? It's a peacekeeping sign. It's a sign that wants everybody to be happy. So it can very easily just like, like, okay, okay, I will be your servant essentially because you're kind of like putting pressure on the issue. And I just want for it to be peaceful. Like you can actually become the person who is in control of a lot during this time, I feel. And uh, you have to be responsible with that, but also you wanna make sure that if there's anything in your life that has almost like a servant quality, like somebody's like wanting you to serve them, somebody's wanting you to do all the work, somebody's wanting you to like endanger your own future to like meet their very uh, tangential needs, stuff like that really does have to be looked at during this time. We're also entering into all planets direct, right? So that means that there's an opportunity here to actually, um, there's an opportunity to actually get stuff moving in a progressive way. Like we don't have to settle for certain things during this time. We don't have to just be okay with the fact that we're endangering ourselves to provide something tangential for another person. We don't have to be okay with not having been given a raise in three years in an inflation centric economy. We don't have to be okay with that. Okay, just to keep the peace of the workplace or just to keep the peace of another person. Like we do have to sometimes stand up for our own rights or our own um, interests because Pisces is not a sign that tends to be high in self-interest. So I feel almost that you have to find a bit of self-interest during this time or you have to look out for your own interest. Um, the sun's going to be in your sign. So there is a bit of ego there. There's a bit of self-interest that you need to think about. And then understand, yes, probably April, May, maybe self-interest isn't really where it can be. So you have like this window of time here to really get yourself in better standing. So I would, I would, I would really capitalize on it if I were a Pisces right now. So let's talk about your week to week in the tarot. Um, in the first week, Pisces, you've got the two of swords, we've done by four of pentacles reversed. Again, it's like passive uh, assuaging. It's passive uh, peacekeeping, like wanting for there to just be kind of unspoken boundaries and kind of wanting to just hold on to what you have. Like, it's okay. Like, I'm not really being given enough, but I'm a good saver, so I've got enough to rely on. Like, I feel that you have to see this in the first week of February and see that, well, just because you're a great saver or just because you've managed to, like, make this difficult situation work doesn't necessarily mean that all of these situations are okay, and you could still maybe have more from what you're going through. Uh, Two of Swords is about blind boundaries. It's about perhaps sweeping things under the rug sometimes. It's about choosing not to communicate about certain things because they might be uncomfortable. You know, maybe we don't want to go into the boss's office and really talk this stuff over. Maybe we'd rather just punch the time clock and go home and feel bad about it later. It's that type of vibe. And then the four of pentacles reversed, it's like, well, you could be getting a lot more for what you're doing. So it's not about thinking, overthinking that. It's not about being like, oh, how much could I make with what I'm doing? It's, it's about making sure that you're being properly reimbursed for your time and that you're not uh, serving another person unjustly or unfairly. So like be watchful for parasites. You know, uh, there are certain people who have a very parasitic energy. And I do feel that this current alchemy in the sky, like Jupiter, Neptune, and Pisces, South Node and Scorpio is very conducive to parasitic energy, is like the, one of the negatives. So we have to make sure that we're not like uh, bleeding off our time, money, energy for parasites. Okay, so think about that. Week number two, you've got King of Pentacles rooted down by Queen of Cups. You come back center. So this is when you start feeling your season. I feel this is when you're feeling the sun in Pisces. This is when you're um, understanding 
what your true nature is and what your true strengths are. So um, earth, water, energy coming together. There could be an earth sign and a water sign in your life that can be very helpful. I feel that this is a great time to forge new connections for you in the second week of February. Observing how other people have asserted their own value, who ha other people who have ethically and in, in an integrity-based way been able to preserve their self-interest without harming other people or without being difficult. Like it's really good to like learn that as a skill during this time. And I feel that it's something that we're all trying to learn how to do. Like how can I preserve my self-interest without also then being super egocentric in a bad way? Finding that balance is great during that time. Third week, you have the sun rooted down by the hermit. This could be self-employment for some of you. Oftentimes I see that combination, the sun being about career, being about self-assertion, self-interest, vitality, and how we work. Usually the sun, and the sun is in your sign, right? Uh, third week of February. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, uh, the hermit is about doing things on your own. It's about, um, you know, having your own authority being what guides you and using your own uh, guidance, okay? So you might not really need the input of that many other people. You might not need the professional advice of others. And also there's a possibility of like not having that many people around you or a possibility of like living alone or living in your own... Um, proximity mostly. So maybe there needs to be a growth of your own auric field. Maybe there's too many other people coming into the month of February that are relying on you. And maybe uh, you need to lessen the exposure to other people or lessen the contacts around you for that time because there's more coming in. Uh, as you can see in the fourth week, you have the King of Wands, you're down by Three of Cups. So that says that there's new relationships coming in. So you might need to think about like, who are you really making space for during this month? Who are you really inviting in? Because the universe is preparing uh, to fill new slots in your life for personal relationships. So it's good to kind of clean that out and clean out the current slots or the current um, roles that you have around you so that you can invite in some uh, better support network people. So more fiery people coming in, King of Wands, uh, and just more... I would say uh, optimistic people. Three of Cups is about optimism. Three of Cups is about, um, you know, kind of that cheers moment. So you might have some celebrations coming up or you might have, you know, some really nice kind of platonic relationships coming in. And it's going to be with a bit of a different backdrop. So maybe as like a self-employed person or as somebody who's like living on their own or uh, having their own experience, you're starting to cultivate these uh, new relationships at the same time. And I think this is basically an entire rebalancing or an entire rejuvenation of what your life looks like in the sense of relationships. So new relationship with self, maybe you have less people like in your uh, home environment, but around you are more people coming in. So it's like, whereas you might have uh, experienced this as like a loss or experienced some of these more self-oriented experiences as more solitary, there is nonetheless uh, new people as a result of it. So this is really about also understanding the fluidity of the human experience. For you, it's getting really broad. It's getting really macro, okay? So understanding that things aren't forever, understanding that things don't uh, just exist in a static way. So um, one becomes self-employed, one begins a process of living by themselves, and they might have a tendency to think, oh my gosh, I'm like living in a convent. This is like forever. My life is now the life of a hermit. But it's like not really like that. Like because of that new energetic assertion, the uh, equal and opposite reaction becomes like you suddenly attracting a new client base or you suddenly attracting a new group of friends uh, because you maybe thought that you were alone, now you have to have other people. So there's kind of this equal and opposite physics, you know, quantum physics situation coming in for you, where basically the world and the universe, I feel, is showing you how it works and wanting you to understand the way or the laws of the universe in a more uh, reassuring way. So not getting too 
worried if you go through a breakup or if you have any type of loss with the knowing that it refills or it reasserts itself in another place. So this is really just about confidence and confidence, again, in the fluidity of the human experience for Pisces people and uh, not really thinking that anything is too permanent either. So we have a permanence as a bit of an enemy here. We have the need for permanence or the need for uh, too much consistency as a detriment, okay, because of all this Pisces energy in the sky, because of also just coming from Aquarius season early in the month of February. Um, it serves as a kind of, again, eroding or uh, reimagining energy, okay? So nothing is that predictable here. And that becomes its own kind of guarantee in a weird roundabout way of a very a new experience. Um, but anyway, Pisces, let's talk more about that in your extended reading. I hope you enjoyed this uh, general reading here on YouTube. Um, I do extended readings as well as weekly tea chats on Patreon. And let's talk more about um, some of these new guarantees coming in for you in the month and get a second look at things. I hope you all have a wonderful entry into your season. Have a wonderful month. Bye.